Hello, you two. Okay, Tim, this is what I have set up here. I have PCBSD 64 bit. I just made this machine. Why isn't these? I'm going to select uh, enable IO APIC. Hardware time is UTC time. I'm not going to select that because that doesn't work. EFI is rarely used at all, so I won't do that. I'm going to enable uh, PAE and uh, NX. Now, I can't make do more than one processor for some reason. My processor is really old. It's an AMD Athlon X2 4800+, plus, 2.4 gigahertz, with a 939 socket. So it's, it's fairly old. It's about four years old. But it still gets the job done. Anyway, I'm given uh, video memory, 32, 32 megabytes as usual, 3D acceleration, storage. I have the, hard the virtual hard drive and the DVD image right there. Audio is the defaults, the also audio driver. NAT is the default. Network address translation is the default for the network adapter. I don't use serial ports. USB is the default. Shared folders I don't even touch, really. That's what I have set up here. So I haven't installed it yet, but uh, I'm starting up the virtual machine now. And the host is still... Uh, Ubuntu 9.10 Lucid Links because uh, I don't want to install 9.10 on this machine. This machine absolutely hated 9.10. I I left uh, 8.04 in this machine for a long time actually. So let's start the default installer. GPU doesn't support long mode. Module APC. Hit enter to boot immediately or blah blah blah. Whatever. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, uh, Ubuntu 9.10 had a really, really butchered and messed up HAL running. I think somebody in uh, Canonical made some really dumbass decisions and took, decided to take out part of HAL and uh, uh, CPU doesn't support long mode. Yeah, I'm having weird stuff happen with the 64-bit version. Okay. Let's power off the machine and change the settings. All right, uh, I'll turn off PAENX, see if that does anything. But yeah, as I was saying, Ubuntu 9.10 just did not agree with this machine because of the uh, hardware extraction layer fails that were all throughout uh, Karma Koala 9.10. It, it just did not like certain computers, especially this one, which didn't make any sense to me because this is older hardware, you know. Um, wow. CPU doesn't support long mode. Okay. This is really strange. <laughs> you kind of have to screw around with these settings to get it to work. Okay, I'll turn off IO APIC. Turn it back on. See, this is what I was saying before, that VirtualBox doesn't play well with 64-bit operating systems all the time. I had 64-bit Windows Vista installed on uh, my MacBook Pro in VirtualBox, and it did not want to make let the audio work for some reason. I couldn't tell you why, but it just did not. All right, let's do the default again. Enter to boot immediately. I'm still getting. I'm still getting the CPU doesn't support long mode. I don't understand that. I, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> because I am, you know, still taking computer classes. Wow. Uh, hmm. That is strange. All right. I'm not even getting this to boot properly. <laughs> I think that's a bad sign right there. All right, let's, let's shut this down and uh, turn all the hardware stuff back on because that wasn't the problem. Turn that, both of those back on. Start it up again. I think I have to boot PCBSD a certain way when it's 64-bit on this machine. I, I, I don't know. I mean, the 64, as I said before, the 64-bit edition worked fine natively on this computer. I mean, it was perfect. You can press pause to t stop the timer. 
Now there are a couple options here. There's boot the installer, boot the installer with ACPI disabled, boot in live mode, safe mode, verbose logging, emergency console, run X in visa mode, and escape to the loader prompt. I'm gonna try number two. CPU doesn't support long mode. God damn it. I have no idea what that is. I gotta type help. Yeah, this is strange. I don't know if you got this when you tried to install it, Tim, but uh, apparently my processor is just too old to handle a virtual 64-bit version of PCBSD or any operating system. I don't even know if it's just this one. <laughs> wow. I may have to test this on a Mac... I, I don't know. I, may, I might have to test this on my MacBook Pro since that machine's from last year. It should have... Uh, it has an Intel Core 2 Duo. So it should... And it was it was the model before they started putting i7s in, so it should have all the extensions and stuff already to run 64-bit operating systems. I may have to get back to you on this one. I don't know, but this is what happened when I try. But this, I I didn't try this before. This is exactly what's happening as I try this. PCBSD just does not like this computer, at least the 64-bit version. The 32-bit version I showed you earlier works just fine. And I tend to stick with 32-bit versions of operating systems when using virtual machines, and unless I really need the power, which I usually don't. Usually it's for demonstration or for playing around or something like that, but... Man, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to test this on my MacBook Pro and see what happens on that computer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very strange. So, uh, that's what's happened so far. I'll post another video trying it on the MacBook Pro and see how that is because yeah I'm, I'm still curious about it what's happening here is very strange I, I, I don't understand I think my processor is just way too old to support running 64-bit guests I mean I can't I mean when we looked at the settings on here I couldn't even use more than one processor I could enable PAE but that's about it you know <clears throat> But uh, I also wanted to say that the 32-bit uh, the version, I'll show you the specs of that. It's pretty much exactly the same. I have uh, 512 RAM, 32 megabytes video RAM, and it still was installing pretty fast, you know. So I think either the fact that you used a 64-bit guest was the problem or the fact that you used Carmack as a host was the problem. I am not sure. But I'm going to give this a try on my MacBook Pro, which is a more mod has a more modern processor in it, and see if that makes any difference when installing a 64-bit version. So uh, that'll be the next video, and I'll get back to you on that. So uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.